Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. September 23rd, Sam Childers. There was a time when Sam rode a sizable American made motorcycle as a drug addicted member of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Their nemesis club was Hell's Angels, and Outlaws liked to say, Adios which stood for Angels Die in Outlaw States. Later, after Sam became a Christian, he rode in a land cruiser, carried an AK-47, and fought to protect women and children in South Sudan. With his wife, Lynn, Sam founded and operated Angels of East Africa, a children's village orphanage in South Sudan. Since 1998, at the orphanage, Sam has provided food, medicine, and armed security for more than 300 children. He has opened three more orphanages in Ethiopia and others in Uganda. On this date in 2011, Relativity Media released a Hollywood movie, Machine Gun Preacher, which tells Sam's story. Two years later, Sam received the Mother Teresa Award for Social Justice, but Sam tells anyone who will listen, I didn't rescue the children of Africa. They rescued me. When God interrupts our plans, one man's yes can change everything. Sam Childers had been a gang biker, a drug dealer, and a high school dropout. And one day in June 1992, he met Jesus at a revival service. Over the next few years, his life changed dramatically, and he started his own construction company. In 1998, with a crew of dedicated volunteers from America, Sam Childers arrived in his first Sudanese village. In the oppressive African heat, alongside local leaders, the volunteers repaired blown out buildings and houses. They patched water towers that had been riddled with bullet holes. They demolished schoolhouses, which were uninhabitable. This group was determined to use their rusty malfunctioning tools to rebuild what rebel groups had destroyed. The team continued to work in the midst of danger. They frequently heard shots around them, and explosions in the distance frequently caused the crew to drop their tools and jump into the nearest hole. The blasts shook the ground, and Sam thought, this is what people live with year after year, never knowing when the next strike will come or the next wave of soldiers with torches and machetes will arrive. Sam rode into the next village with his Russian-made well-oiled AK-47 on his lap, barrel resting on his left arm poking out the window. He and his team came across an area where many had lost their lives. And death was no respecter of persons here. If people didn't fall victim to the daily raids by the rebel armies, they became the unfortunate victims of a hidden landmine. These landmines were designed to cripple, not kill. With the stench of death in the air and corpses all around, Sam found the body of a child. I couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl. The lower half was just gone. A child that no more than a few days ago had been running through the field and placed his little foot on a landmine. As Sam stood over the child, unable to look away, tears filled his eyes, and he made a vow to the Lord, I will do whatever I have to do to help these people, these children. Whatever it takes, I'll do it. Sam Childers, now dubbed by the children of Sudan as the machine gun preacher, with God-given plans for an orphanage, a school, and a medical clinic, began to build. I hadn't come to Africa to help the children initially, but one young child whose name I'll never know changed my plans, my heart, and the rest of my life. Change has certainly come to South Sudan. Thousands of people are fed every day, and hundreds of orphans have found a home. Sam Childers, by the world's standards, had completely disqualified himself from being God's man. But when he encountered the goodness of God through faith in Jesus, Sam was able to step into a destiny he could never have imagined. It's like the word of God says in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. The willing rebel became a giant in the kingdom of God because he said yes to what seemed impossible. 
Is there anything seemingly impossible for you to walk through? When God interrupts our plans, one man's yes can change everything. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.